There it goes. It is an ab. Absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I am I am talking over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm it is a just a postcard perfect Saturday morning bright blue skies no smoke in the air it is Saturday, what is it, something like, I don't know, are we at July 21st or 22nd, 2023? It is 54 degrees right now, 54 degrees <clears throat> here in the Finger Lakes of New York on this just unbelievably gorgeous summer weekend while the rest of the planet fries I think we're looking at a high of 72 somewhere around there today and uh, what is this camera battery doing flashing I just had to order some new batteries I guess these batteries do have a lifetime so anyway I'm just gonna sit here and whine until uh, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and whine until the uh, camera shuts off. So anyway, this is the weekend of the big Grassroots Music Festival in Ithaca, New York. This four-day, you know, it's their big music festival with dozens of bands and food and partying and all of this going on all weekend. <clears throat> So uh, I have been gifted, totally for free, two tickets. A buddy of mine had two tickets available. These, these are like a couple hundred bucks a piece. So I have, I don't know, let's call it $400 worth of tickets to go to the single biggest party music festival of the year. <clears throat> in Ithaca, New York. My choice on this absolutely gorgeous weekend. Uh, you know, built, th this weekend is built for uh, having a music festival. So uh, I'm sitting here deciding whether or not to go. And probably going to decide not to go and I'm just sitting here analyzing why I am analyzing this gift from the universe into a no now I could use the excuse well for one thing I've got to check some more people into the <coughs> vacation rental business uh, but not counting that, you know, there's the the driving and there's the gas money and the parking and all of that attendant horseshit that's involved with going to these things. Uh, just a hassle of all that that I could use as the excuse, but uh, that has nothing to do with it. I, I'm I'm probably going to make the decision to sit here alone with my thumb up my ass on this absolutely gorgeous weekend uh, in Ithaca, New York while this uh, free music festival and party going on because j j just the thought of going to this alone just it, it, it it's so brutal <clears throat> uh, it's just the the I, I I just know how it would go uh, I dealt with this at that fucking bluegrass festival last week and I was even there with a friend uh, you know so I, I'm sitting here I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to analyze this what is this is this my fourth summer in New York, you know, I'm, I'm on these fucking internet dating sites, uh, I've been here um, now 
uh, for four summers uh, in Ithaca. I've built this beautiful place here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I don't think I'm that bad looking, you, you know, for a 63 year old fart. Uh, I'm not the little stud muffin I was 30 years ago, but you know, for a 63 year old man, I'm not particularly bad looking. Uh, you, you would think with all of this that I would have some female some female somewhere in the state of New York uh, who might want to go with me to the uh, to this uh, music festival I, I I do not have one single uh, hell I, I don't even have a male buddy uh, to uh, offer this other ticket to and so I would go there and uh, I would probably just try to sell it for 50 bucks, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, knowing me. But, j j you know, just the fucking thought of it. Uh, going up there alone, especially uh, w with this uh, extra ticket uh, in, in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> And just sitting there, you know what I'm saying, and just watching all of mainly the couples, uh, you know, the the young couples in love, and the and the older married couples, uh, and the groups of friends getting together, and I, I'm just sitting there in the middle of two thousand fucking people. Uh, ha, you know, being completely irrelevant, invisible. Uh, it's just, it, it's just so depressing and degrading doing this that uh, it would, it, it would just fucking destroy uh, any enjoyment that I, that I would get. Uh, <clears throat> you know, out of the music or the food and, and all of this. <coughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm going to sit here and pass up uh, in, in, in the, the biggest party of the year in Ithaca, New York, and all of this free music that I'm sure I would, I would love hearing and stuff because uh, just, just the very thought of... Just the very, there's just the very thought of just sitting there alone, in, in a sea of uh, my my fellow humans who have somehow managed to figure out how to pair bond, how to get in uh, small groups of friends. You know, it's just uh, I, I mean I'm it. What is it? Uh, Mid July, and I'm already thinking uh, of, of what the fuck I'm gonna do with myself starting November 1st. Six fucking months I have to fill up. Uh, traveling around alone with my thumb up my ass. Uh, and the, the whole fucking world to uh, choose where to go and, and, and just the fucking thought of it. Uh, I'm sitting here, you, you can't hear them, but there are these two, these two girls from the Netherlands, or I'm sitting here at Blue Dragon, these, so the, here's these two chicks from the Netherlands up there at Seahorse right now, uh, I don't think they're lesbians. I, I think they're just I, I think they're just two friends. They're probably 25. They have their whole world, their whole life in front of them and uh, they're over here from Holland uh, doing a road trip across America. And uh, you know I'm sitting here on Friday night. Last night, you know, they're up there 
I, I built them a campfire there up there. Uh, you know, sitting around the campfire laughing and drinking beer and uh, d doing whatever uh, friends do. And uh, they don't know if they're going off to the festival. Then I have two people... Uh, Two of the people who are coming in here in a few hours are volunteering at the festival. So they're going to be, so this young couple, they're heading off. I should just give them the fucking tickets and say, don't worry about uh, volunteering. Here's two free tickets. You know, and, and just, just sitting here listening the, to these women, they're up there. I think having their coffee up on the deck and planning their day and their and their trip together and I'm telling uh, where they're heading from here. Oh, fuck. I, I just found, well, I didn't, my, uh, <laughs> my sister, uh, she and her husband were up here in, in Blue Dragon and she was looking for an aspirin, and she opens she opens the medicine cabinet in Blue Dragon, and uh, she did find a Tylenol, but next to the Tylenol was this uh, a little bottle of personal lubricant. You know, I guess that uh, one of Hambone's No Tell Motel couples. Uh, just decided to leave for the next couple. You know, you think when you rent an Airbnb uh, that you take your fucking bottle of personal lubricant with you, but they just left it in the medicine cabinet next to the, you know, next to the fucking Tylenol. <sighs> You know, there, there is more fucking going on at Bugs in a Jar Farm. There's more fucking going on in this place uh, than in the goddamn uh, Playboy Mansion that I have created in this little... Uh, it, it, it just screams, fuck me. You know, all of these little... These three little romantic bungalow retreats uh, there's this screaming rip off your clothes and fuck uh, <laughs> oh god with your goddamn personal lubricants and oh, Jesus I'm I'm so happy that I have created this this little uh, uh, this little uh, garden of earthly delights for all of these young lovers to come uh, use up bottles of lubricant. They, you know, they, what are they lubricating? I don't even, don't even want to know what's being lubricated in this